this is the time when the talking has to stop and the action finally begins. A warm welcome to Wembley from me, Derek Ray. I'm joined on the commentary box by Lee Dixon, and we're just seconds away from kickoff time in what promises to be a wonderful Carabao Cup final. It's Blackpool, and they face Middlesbrough. Well, not many players in their careers get chances to play in cup finals. These 22 have got a perfect opportunity to put their name on the map. I'm looking forward to this final. It should be an absolute cracker, Derek. A look then at the starting 11. Looks as though they're going with the belt and braces approach. Yeah, 5-3-2 or 3-5-2. The midfield will be flooded when they've got the ball. Defensively, those fullbacks will be asked to supply support to their three centre backs, but it does enable you to play two strikers up front. A look at the starting 11 for Middlesbrough. Fairly conventional 4 5 1 setup. Yeah, that back four will be protected throughout the game with the five midfield players in front of them. Really important that they do support that lone striker when they do have the ball. Thank you, Wembley Stadium. Enjoy the game. And so the match is underway. Ethan Robson. Robson. And he keeps going. And they couldn't quite muster a real threat. Akbom. McNair now. Now Saville. Johnny Housen. Can they trouble the opposition this time? Happy to pass the ball, but remaining patient. Now Saville. And he's thwarted him almost effortlessly. Well, nicely cut out. Now, what can they do with the ball? And room now out on the flank. Now, let's see about the cross. Taking care of business defensively here. Akbom. Housen here. Paddy McNair. Darnell Fisher. Still passing it around with authority. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. Well, he played that one really well. Now Saddle. Thank you. Bolassi. Oh, he's really opened them up here. There it is. How about that for starters? Well, what a huge moment that might be for this club. The fans are going absolutely wild. Well, here's the replay, and I enjoy this passage of play. It's lovely to watch. Superb passing, and he takes full advantage of the time he's given. It's an accomplished finish, too. Nil then. Middles for a goal, number 22, George Saville. A 
An authoritative challenge. Johnny Housen. George Savile with it. Housen here. Back bomb. Ethan Robson. And cleared away. Ethan Robson running with the ball confidently. Easy meet for the goalkeeper. He's lost it. Now let's see what they can do here. Oh, it might be. Well, straight at the goalkeeper then. Now Saville. Now Yannick Bolassi. Yates. And he could really get at the opposition. Big chance to get them on terms. And putting his body on the line. One goal down, but now a corner kick. Over it comes. Well, as a defender, that will suit you down to the ground. The first half here comes to an end. And the ball moving again, it's Borough in front, but they can't take anything for granted. Paddy McNair. An effective challenge. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Read it well. Now can they counter clinically? Paddy McNair. Johnny Housen. And what more in possession? A bit of running room now on the wing. Just looking for the right moment for that final pass. Well, he went strongly into the challenge, and the result is a throw in. So making the substitution now. Chance to cross. And now they have the ball back. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Well, they get the ball once more. And we're inside the final 30 minutes. Bolassi. Well, can they exploit the space out wide? Good looking cross. Insufficient guile on the crossing front, you've got to say. Anderson. Yates. And close but offside nonetheless.
Substitution for Middlesbrough. Coming off the pitch, number 22, George Saddle, to be replaced by number five, Sam Mawson. Ballard. So 20 minutes to go. Grant Hole. Now Yannick Bolassi. Keeping the ball moving. And a good looking pass. Setting off perhaps a little bit too much here. Pure ball control. Well, not the easiest of saves, but you'd expect him to stop it. Borough pushing to add to their advantage. It's a corner. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. So the corner played into the box and nothing positive comes of it unfortunately and that puts them in position making excellent progress with the ball at his feet and he did well to cut it out Sam Morsey McNair now. Cabano. Crisp tackling. And that's who in attacking position. It's not too late for them. This could be the equaliser. What a vital intervention. Well, this might be the final opportunity to draw level. And the substitution will occur now. And firing it into the area. Cleared away comprehensively. Ballard. Well, do they have it in them to level this? After the foul, a chance to contemplate what is next and perhaps a goal from this free kick. Time really is of the essence. What can they do from this situation? And over comes the corner. Stewart. Beautifully timed. And the final whistle, the cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. And Lee, memories are being made. Yeah, absolutely. It doesn't matter how much money you've got in the bank. Players will always look back at moments like these.